Yo, yo, it's your bro, old Uncle E in the house. And if you're a high achieving man that's aiming for excellence, but you struggle with drinking, drugs, jerking off, or any filthy vice that's destroying your life, then this is going to be the best masterclass you've ever seen in your life. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to overcome drinking drugs, jerking off, procrastinating, sleeping late, playing video games, or anything that's a stumbling block to you being the strongest version of yourself in fitness, business, with women, and in faith. And so this is the Vice Slayer Masterclass, I'm calling it, but it's an extension of my war on vice and I decided to put this program out for you guys so that you can get a taste of what it takes in order to dominate your life by destroying your vices, right? So if you wanna be able to climb that mountain, you gotta get rid of the ball and chain. And for most guys, I've discovered that the reason why they can't be their strongest self in fitness, business, and with women is because they're jerking off and smoking too much and doing a bunch of stuff that keeps them weak. So, for those of you who don't know, I started YouTube in 2007, shortly after YouTube became a thing. And as a result, I skyrocketed in YouTube notoriety in the fitness industry very early on. My Strength Camp YouTube channel reached over a million subscribers. And truth be told, I didn't know how to handle the newfound success and all the uh, attention that came with it. I had no idea that millions of people worldwide would know who I am and it got to my head. I had a power trip and the fact is that my pride got the best of me, bro, and it caused me to go down real low. And so, uh, as a result, I started smoking weed. And so, if you've been a fan for me of a long time, you probably remember when I fell off and didn't really show my face on YouTube very much at all. Who knows where I would be today? had I not fallen away. But I have to say that it's the best thing that ever happened to me because it's given me an opportunity to know what it's like to live a tough life. I needed to put myself in my client's shoes. And I never knew what it was like to be addicted to porn because I didn't grow up with porn on my phone like y'all do, right? When I was younger and in order to watch porn, we had to like go to the porn store and buy VHS tapes and put it in a, in a VCR. Like it just didn't exist that way. You guys just flip open a website and your phone and you got it in your pocket, pocket puss, right? Screen sex. So, but in order to, for me to have a sense of empathy, I think God put me into this bad place. He said, Hey, look, man, if you're going to, if you're going to lead a generation of men to the top of the mountain, you got to show them how to get rid of the ball and chain that's holding them back. And so, you know, for five years, I was smoking stacks, right? So I got, I got high all the time. Maybe for you, it's porn. Maybe you keep saying, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to have that new no fap streak. But I know that based on the thousands of men, literally thousands of men that I speak to regularly because they come through my programs and I talk to them on the phone as prospects, porn is the number one thing that's destroying men's lives today. There's also overeating, oversleeping, procrastinating, video games. I know them all cause we're dealing with them in my program. And when a dude comes to me or shows up on my screen and says, yo, Uncle E, help me get lean. And we find out that he's binge drinking on the weekend. And then you know what that usually leads to? Overeating. Overeating and making bad decisions, right? And I don't wanna go into the whole list of bad decisions that men make when they get drunk, but the bottom line is that it's tripping you up and you know it's holding you back. You're not your strongest self when you're guzzling that stuff every week. And if you can't control it, you don't have mastery over yourself and you're drinking, we got to stop that vice. Otherwise, you're going to be fat and weak and sick the rest of your life. Oh, with the smoking weed. Now, I can relate, but I've seen it happen every day as of late that a man has ambitions to build a business or do something great. How many men want to do something great because they smoked enough weed to give them these high ideas? But the fact is that a lot of those ideas are actually pretty good and you would be able to fulfill them if you weren't high all the time. I think the weed is the thing that shows up for a lot of entrepreneurs because you're at home all alone by yourself and thinking that you're gonna be you know, closing people on the phone and making websites and shooting videos and you know, being a solopreneur. But with all that free time on your hand and nobody at home and no one breathing down your throat or asking you to punch the clock, it's easy to go and smoke some pot. And I, I know there's a lot of people who say, oh, weed is not addicting. Well, that wasn't the case for me. I don't know. I like to say to people who say, oh, weed is not addicting. Well, why don't you stop? You say that to somebody who smokes pot. Okay, then just stop. Stop for, stop for six months. Just stop for a year. You know what they'll tell you? Oh, no. 
Oh, because it's good for you. They'll tell you all kinds of bullshit. Cope. They'll cope you to death so they can keep smoking dope. And you call those dope copes, right? Dope copes. Oh, it's natural, right? So is monkey poop. You don't, you don't smoke that. You don't eat that, right? It's natural. It's a plant, right? And they'll tell you all kinds of BS. You know how I know? I use the same to myself. But it ain't a fact. If you smoking weed, you're never gonna be a high achiever. I don't care what Snoop Dogg said. And the smut on the screen that you're watching when you're laying in your bed and get your hands in between and you get that bottle of cream, you know what I mean? How is that destroying your relationships, dude? I know so many men who struggle to get it up in bed because they're having screen sex instead. And it's a, it's a damn shame because I love families. I love, I love I'm a fan of marriage, and that's a different story. I think having a wife and children is great. And I understand that to date in this day is not very easy, but it ain't going to get any easier if you are a limp dick and flaccid as a man because you're jerking your shit every day. I have compassion. I feel for you guys. And that, that was me in the middle, except I didn't use a bong. I used a vaporizer. Not a vape pen, a vaporizer, a volcano. So anyway, I could totally relate. And the bottom line is your life ain't going to be great if you're doing this shit every day. And you know it. I don't need to tell you. So here's what we got going on, bros. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it because it's going to be spread over a course of a series of videos. But I'm calling this the Vice Slayer Masterclass. And I got a lot of cool shit that I want to share with you. You can even see some of it back there. That's called the, the Vice Cycle. And that's going to be in lesson number one. The Vice Cycle is a means by which you could be objective about yourself. You got to be able to see the patterns in your life. And you got to know when you're tripping, stumbling, falling. And listen, you got to keep rising. I want to talk about that in the next video. This is just an intro. We're going to talk about for number two and number three, we're going to talk about virtue, right? Because the opposite of vice is virtue. The problem is if you're trying to get rid of vice and you don't fill it with a virtue, you're going to fall back into the cycle of vice. And so the, the, the answer to vice is to be vigilant in building virtue. This is what we talk about in my program. This is what I'm going to be talking about in this master class. And it's going to be great because not only do you want to destroy vice, you want to dominate life and virtue are the tools by which you dominate your life. In video number four, we're going to talk about spiritual war, right? Because these vices don't just destroy our life, but they destroy an entire nation and generation of men. These are weapons, if you will. Pornography is a weapon. And if you ever get a chance to read Libido Dominante by E. Michael Jones, he talks about how literally they're used by our enemies to destroy a generation of men so that they're what? Very easy to manipulate. If you're, if you're a limp dick dude who's jerking off every day and smoking weed, you're not going to fight back when the enemy shows his cards. And right now we're living in a time when the enemy shows his cards. Where are the men, right? Stephen Arneo says in his book, Hard Times Create Strong Men, that men solve problems. Video games solve the problem of men. And so that's just one of them too. Video games is a part of the spiritual war. Accountability, because the solution to addiction is connection. As we're going to talk about accountability, how you can create accountability. And if you want accountability, I could be your coach. God's grace is number six. And I almost said it is number one because it has so much to do with being able to move through these cycles of vice, right? Sometimes you realize, as I did myself, that you can't do it alone. You don't have to do it alone. But how do you, how do you make yourself accessible to God's grace? How do you participate in God's grace? God wants you to succeed. Finally, training in truth. Because vice can only survive in an environment of lies. We're constantly lying to ourselves and we don't know the truth. We don't know the truth about ourselves personally. And we don't even know the purpose of man, right? Especially in a world that tells us we're toxic. And so those are the seven videos in this masterclass. I'll be recording one or two a week, uploading them here. So make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can get them in your phone. Oh, Uncle E showing you how to overcome vice, destroy vice and dominate your life. Tell your friends, tell your friends, tell your friends to tune in. Finally, if you're watching this video and you're saying to yourself, damn right, Elliot, I need to destroy this vice. Hey, 
All you got to do is book a strategy call, war on vice with old Uncle E. You're going to talk with me, mano e mano. You and I are going to go through your life and we're going to decide where you're stripping up, where you're failing in this fight. And if I can help you, I'll be more than happy to walk you through that. If not, I might refer you to somebody we know, give you some homework in the meantime, whatever you need, bro. So go to waronvice.com. And so it's literally for a limited time. Right now I'm taking all these calls. So if you book this call, you're going to be talking to me. But very soon here, I'm going to step out of the way. I'm going to bring some new teammates in and you're going to be talking to them. But if you want to talk to old Uncle E, you got to do this now. So go to waronvice.com. You can click that link down below. If it's good for you to go, we'll talk mano y mano. Otherwise, stick around and watch this video series. You're not going to be disappointed. Keep growing stronger. Talk soon. Done.